With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student. So the question is match the molecules given from the list 1 with the shape obtained through the Vesper theory in the list 2. Here is the list of the molecules PCL5, OF2, PCL3, Ammonia and the list of the shapes V-shape, triangular, planar, triangular, bipyramidal, triangular, pyramidal and tetrahedral. So we have to find out the shape of the molecule. So to find out the shape of the molecule, first we should know to how to find out the hybridization of the molecule. And to find out the hybridization, there is a formula called half V plus M minus C plus A where V signifies the number of valence electrons, M signifies number of monovalent atoms, C signifies cation and A signifies anion. Okay. And uh, when the hybridization, when the this value comes out to be 4, it is hybridization is sp3. And uh, the possibility of the shape can be tetrahedral or triagonal pyramidal as well. When there is hybridization sp3d, when value is 5, the hybridization is sp3d. When value is 6, hybridization is sp3d2. When the value comes out to be 3, hybridization is sp2. When value is 2, hybridization is sp and so on. And accordingly, we will see the shape of the molecule. Like the first molecule given is PCL5. So in case of it is PCL5. In case of PCL5, uh, phosphorus belongs to the element uh, group number 15. That means it has 5 valence electrons plus number of monovalent atom. That means chlorine are 5. There is no cation and no anion. That means this will be half multiplied by 10. That will be 5. So if it is 5, that means it is sp3 hybridized. And as it is sp3 hybridized, that means its hybridization will be trigonal bipyramidal. Because the, when the hybridization is sp3d, then the, uh, then the shape is trigonal bipyramidal. So A matches with the trigonal bipyramidal. Trigonal bipyramidal. Next, moving on to OF2 molecule. In case of OF2 molecule, oxygen have how many valence electrons? Six valence electrons plus there is two monovalent atom. There is no cation and no anion. So it will be half multiplied by eight. That means four. If it is four, that means it is sp3 hybridized but when we see the shape of this molecule uh, it is oxygen bounded with two fluorine and two lone pairs are there that means its shape is of bent or v shape all right so if it it is bent or v shape so according to that of2 matches with the option number 1 Next, moving on to the BCL3. In case of BCL3, boron have three valence electrons plus three monovalent. Chlorine are there. There is no cation and no anion. So, according to that, it will be three. That means its hybridization will be sp2. And its shape, when we draw its shape, it is BC. L. All right. So this is a trigonal planar shape. All right. So according to that, it will matches with trigonal planar, which is second option. Next, there is ammonia. 
in case of ammonia nitrogen have how many valence electrons five valence electrons plus three hydrogens are still there there is no cation and no anion that means it will be half into eight that means four and when we draw its shape it is ammonia have total five electrons that means three hydrogen are arranged like this and there is one lone pair and this shape is actually triagonal pyramidal shape all right because due to the presence of these lone pair due to the presence of this lone pair somewhat bending of this molecule takes place so according to that fourth option matches with fourth option matches with d that means d option matches with four so according to that option number fourth is the correct answer i hope you understand this question thank you very much for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today